This is a fractional unit, a web developer's best friend for creating responsive, modern layout designs with CSS Grid. It works by dividing the available space of a parent into fractional areas. Let's look at this container that uses a CSS Grid to help explain how fractional units work. To create a one column grid, we can set the grid template columns property to one FR. We divided the area into one fraction and the column takes up the entire fraction, thus taking up 100% of the grid. Let's look at an example that sets the grid template columns to 3FR, 2FR, and 1FR. In this example, we've split the available space into six total fractional areas. The first column takes up one half of the available space, the second column takes up one third, and the last column takes up one sixth. You might be thinking, wait, this sounds like percentages, why aren't we using those? The benefit is that fractional units consider this space taken up by CSS grid properties like row and column gap to calculate their width. To demonstrate this, look at this example that uses percentage units to create four columns. The layout behaves as expected without any column or row gap properties. However, let's add some column and row gap spacing by setting the gap property to 2 rem. As you can see, the grid area now overflows because percentage units do not account for the gap spacing. We can use fractional units to fix this issue. Now we can see that our layout respects the gap spacing and doesn't overflow. So far, our examples have only used fractional units to create columns, but you compare them with other CSS units. For instance, I paired fraction units with rim units in this video to make the holy grail layout. Check it out to learn more, and I'll see you in the next one.